Rusty old man here, and I have got a great fun base design for you. It's what I call the skinny boy, and this is a solo base. You could probably fit a duo into here, but there's not a lot of space for them. But this base, although it's not the most secure base out there, this is a fun base. It gives you 360 degree coverage with four turrets, one on each side. It's got plenty of storage inside, so let's take a look in there now. We've got our standard airlock right here. Now, this may seem like it's exposed, but it's not. You see, people can't shoot through double fences like this. Turrets can shoot out, but people can't shoot in. So you actually have visibility outside there. We'll go into this first room here, and from here, I've got some storage. Drop box right there, little box. I've got a quick change locker, large battery for all of our electrical needs, the turrets and electricity if you need, maybe some furnaces, as well as a quick little jump up here on this furnace. And you'll notice there's a shotgun trap here looking down and there's one right above me looking down. So if somebody does get through those first two doors, they've got those shotguns there that are gonna take them out. We come up here, we've got additional storage and here we've got four drop boxes. You could put four more here as well. You're not gonna access these from the outside. This is simply to add additional storage. You see, above ladder hatches, you can't put boxes right here. So what you can do in those rooms is you can add drop boxes for that additional storage. Here's our main loot room. It's got four large boxes, four small boxes, a level two workbench, and a fireplace for your cooking needs. Below that, we've got our TC room. And from here, you notice I've got two large boxes. I've got room for one bag. The upkeep, super cheap, 1400 metal frags, 1500 stone. So basically two metal nodes, one and a half stone node upkeep. I've got smart switches all around. That way I don't need to be in here to turn them off and reload them. But the thing about this is I have access to reload them from right here. I just need to take off this here, I then would turn this off, and then I've got access to it. The reason why I put this floor frame in here is because I don't want people to raid through the window. Now with this here, they're gonna have to raid the full cost, 1,000 to get through that. That's how we'll change the ammo on those two turrets. The other one is pretty simple because it's just in that first room that you have right there. You've got the ability right here to take this off and then still be able to change the ammo. The other one, you're gonna have to go around outside. So this is the only time that you'll be exposed in this base. But what I've done here is I've got a chain link fence airlock. And then from in here, again, remember you're safe because you have two fences protecting you. I can go in here and I can reload the ammo in this one right here. Let's go ahead and take a look how I built this. And if you're gonna build the skinny boy on a live server, you're crazy, gotta say that right now. You still gotta have fun. Let's see how we start this off. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with a low foundation, just like that, and then two high foundations directly across from each other, and then two triangle foundations directly. I'm gonna upgrade these to metal because that's their final build material. From here, on the triangles, we're gonna go ahead and put window frames, and on this side here, or the other side, doesn't matter, one of them, you're gonna need half walls, just like that. Again, I like this to be metal. Put our TC in here. Boop. Okay, and then we'll put our ladder hatch in here, just like so. A couple windows to get us secure. Throw a couple boxes in there, and our bag. Lock this up. But that right there is your starter. Is it secure? Yes. Is it gonna stop a determined raider? No, it's only one ladder hatch, okay? But that gets you started in this unique base. So let's go ahead and build up the rest of it to make it a little bit more secure. Okay, right outside those square ones, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build off three triangles. Same thing on the other side. Same design on the triangle side. These can all be stone. And then I like to have another one here for our airlock in. And I'll put another one here because we're gonna need access to this turret securely. Typical airlock there. Gonna go with a window. And then here, we'll go with our half walls up. This can all be stone. And for this item, I'm gonna put a wall frame here. And what I want here 
is I want to go ahead and put a fence. Window here. And we're going to put a furnace because this is going to be our jump up. Right there. All right, we'll go ahead and build up this portion right here. And for now, we're going to keep that a door frame because we will expand into there later. Double door there, and we're secure. There we go. Now our base is much, much more secure. Since you're probably not going to have turrets yet, what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and place our locker right there, and then we'll go ahead and put our tier two here. Always want to have a little bit of additional storage space. So there we go. And I like it coming this way because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some shotgun traps that are going to be looking straight down right there. And I don't want to block it by placing this the wrong way. Let me jump up here and the easiest way to place these boxes is going to be this way. So I'm going to do that now. Push that back as far as I can. Go ahead and get me another little small box right here. Like I said, I like to have some protection here so I'll go ahead and put a shotgun trap right there and I'll put a shotgun trap a little bit higher that's not going to impact me as I jump up so that's going to help you defend that airlock you do have the ability also if you want place some boxes kind of on the corners like that that's always an option and then of course what I like to do is I like to use drop boxes for additional storage space the plan is never really to use these drop boxes on the outside. It's just to use them on the inside so you have that extra storage right there. I'll go ahead and put some there a little bit later. But you can see, if I wanted to, I could do this. And I could have additional storage right there, another large box. It's not bad. Just depends on kind of what your gameplay is and what your style is. The next stage is to expand out to have a decent storage room, but then also to prepare for the turrets. So to do that, we're going to need a lot of these wall frames. The only difference is here, I'm going to go ahead and put a window frame right there. And then we're going to go back around. The reason that we do that is that turrets will be able to shoot out, but people can't shoot in. So it's a very great protection asset. Okay, I'm going to upgrade all of these to stone. Then, for my additional storage room, I'm going to go ahead and put my ceiling right there. And if that's too high to get into, just go ahead and bring this down right like that. Get yourself easy access into there. Going to bring my tier 2 with me. On one side, we'll have half walls. You could upgrade that to metal if you want to give you a little bit more security. I would do this bottom one for sure so someone can't soft side through it before you get the fences in there. Workbench right there. We'll add some additional storage levels right there. And now we'll go ahead and fill this up with storage. Now that I've got the storage room all sorted out there, uh, I want to put a garage door here, but I realized I can't because, well, I've got those drop boxes there. So I'm going to need to actually remove those. So tip for you don't place the drop boxes too early okay because these things suck to break by the way so just hold off on that okay there we go we're gonna make that metal it just makes things fit a little bit better and look at that see i can't put that there so i needed to actually center these okay okay now that i've got these things taken care of there we go doesn't matter. We got plenty of room here. Everything is in there. Put our garage door right there. Lock it up. Let's go around and add all of our ceiling tiles to this. All going to be stone. Then what I want to do is I want to add a little protection to my windows by placing these embrasures. And I like the vertical embrasures. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to change ammo out of them. It's like that. And we're going to need an airlock to get into this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, let's place our turrets and they're going to go just this way, looking out. Going to give us that 365 degree coverage that we're looking for here. Also want to go ahead and place whatever gun you're going to go ahead and put into it and your ammo. 
And then I'm going to start locking things up here. Again, you want to make sure that it's got protection from two different sides. There we go. They are protected. Gonna need to build up here because that's a little too high. Now, sometimes I have trouble fitting that in here. It's it's kind of weird. Uh, and if it just glitches on you and you can't do it for some reason, just put it over here. It's okay. In fact, by, by doing that, you're going to have the ability to put a little box here. While I'm at it, might as well give me a little additional storage right here. And we're going to go ahead and set up the electricity now. Configure your electricity however you want. I'm just going to go ahead and use a wind turbine because I love them. They give you enough power to power up all of your turrets, plus a little extra. We'll go ahead and plug in our wind turbine here. And we'll go ahead and plug our battery in. I connect all of my branches and I'm going to assign them 11 because I'm going to have them go through a smart switch. Turret takes 10, smart switch takes 1. You can use regular switches, but I prefer to use the Rust app and be able to do this all from my phone. You're all gonna wanna have those type of skills with your wiring, right? Get yourself an electrician. Get yourself a union certified technician to do all this. I am not the electrical guy. Now we'll go ahead and just plug these in. Turn everything on. There we go. So in our current configuration, we have about 2,000 stone upkeep and 1,000 metal. I would honestly recommend you upgrade your core, which includes all this, to metal. So let's do that. The last thing you want to do to secure your TC room is to put a wall frame here and upgrade that to metal. And that'll make raiders who are trying to go through those windows even more painful because now They've got that thousand hit points they'd have to go through still. If you wanted to, you could make some of this HQ, make it even stronger for them. But again, like I said, have fun with your builds, okay? Do something different. Rust is getting kind of boring. We need to change things up a little bit. And one of the ways to change things up a little bit is to go with a crazy looking base like this. The skinny boy is going to do it for you. 360 degree protection from those turrets. You got crazy looking drop boxes on one side or two sides, depending on how many you put there. I hope to see you all on a server sometime soon. You'll know who I am. I'm the role player.